Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. But before going forward, if you have not liked the video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel so that you get notified when I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the problem is design, add and search words data structure. Very easy question. Uh, we, are we have to design a data structure that supports adding new words and finding if a string matches any previously added string. So what we need to do is we have to make a function uh, like which will add a word add a word like and if we have to search a word then we have we'll be able to search see so simple approach which comes into mind right simple approach which comes in mind is see like for example these all are the words which are given to us like this word is given to us this word this is add word we have to add this word add word and over here we have to search this we need to search and then we this is our add word and this we need to search right see what we can do like very simple approach is if we store somewhere that this word is already present and then again we have to search it so we will check from that data structure whether this word is present or not like right so what we can do is we can have a hash map let's say we have a hash map we have a hash map what we will do whenever we, we we get to add a word let's say we have to add this word bad we will add it in the hash map so what we will be basically doing we will be storing the length of this word as key and its value will be the word you'll understand why we are doing this so size is the key and the word is the value right now again we have to add this word cat so we write size 3 and we write cat like this then we have to search we have to search now what we need to search see we have to search c dot p now this dot means this can be replaced with any character here any character can come so we have to search a word which has length 3 so we will check simply we will check whether there is a, a word in the hash map which has length 3 yes so then we can check it for example over we have to search let's say a dot we have this now see this has length 2 and we do not have any key of length of 2 any 2 any key 2 is not there na? so we can simply return false because there will be no word present of length 2 so that's why we are storing the size as key so what we will do we have to search this word c dot p so c dot p we need to search na? so we will check this length is 3 3 is present as key means we can find we there is a possibility that we can find this word we can find this word now we will search our hash map we will check whether this has size 3 and we will then check if size is same size is 3 3 we will check the word character by character this word is bad and this character and this word which we have to search is c dot p we will search we will check character by character whether they are same or not see they are not same from the first character only here it's b and here it's c not same so we will return false we will not we will not return false we will continue and we will check whether there is another key of same size like 3 is also again there so we will now compare this word now we will have this word which is cat c a t so we will check first letter is matching second letter is dot so it can be replaced with any character so it doesn't matter whatever it is then over here now they are different hence this is also not the word we have to search for this but this is not the word so we have seen all the words in the hash map and we did not find this word so we will return false return false means this uh, this word we are not able to search in the hash map right then again what we will do we'll again uh, we'll again get the query to add the word so desk will be, will add in the hash map and desk has size 4 there are 4 letters so 4 and desk 
then we have search we have to search so over here same thing see searching we have to do we have to word we have to search this word r dot dot t so this has length 4 we'll check whether there is a word of length 4 yes there is a word now we will compare it letter by letter desk is that word and this is the word r dot dot t see first letter is only not matching we will return so no word is there hence return false for example if we take uh, something which is matching let's say we take c dot t right we take c dot t so for that c we have to compare we have to find c dot t so see, this has length 3 and we have two words of length 3 so when we will check cat this cat we will compare it with the c dot t cc will match this dot can be replaced with any character so we will continue if, when we will see dot and tt is also matching hence this word matches so we will return true right so this is a hash map approach uh, very simple approach right so we can see the code for this this is getting accepted if you see this so over here what we are doing we have this function add word in add word we are adding uh, the uh, word size will be the key and word will be the value right then what we are doing <coughs> we are we have this search function in which we are searching like basically yeah search function we have which we are searching and uh, we are checking for every uh, whatever there is in the hash map we are checking the size all the all the uh, th uh, values which we have for that particular size we are checking those and then we are comparing letter by letter using is equal function so is equal function is there which we are passing two strings and we are checking letter by letter if it is dot simply continue don't check because that can be placed with any letter and a of i if not equal to b of i return false otherwise if this loop is completed means return true so in this way we can use this approach so see in this approach the time complexity will be uh, we are storing the words na, in the hash map so let's say there are uh, if add words query are queries are q1 there are q1 queries to add words so total space complexity will be q1 because these many words will be in the, in the hash map this is your space complexity and the time complexity for adding the word is see this is constant but uh, over here searching will require some time uh, we are going we are uh, like with this loop is we are going to each letter if the word has length say n we are going to each and uh, that we are checking how many times like if there are four uh, let's say there are if there are m words m words in the hash map m words of size m words of size n so we are checking for every word so n m n is the length of the word right this is your time complexity n m so if you submit this this is getting accepted right now there is one more approach which we can use that is let's see that so i'll be erasing this only uh just a second oh my bad so the second approach which we'll be using we see whenever we have words now and we have to add words we need to search so for this uh, thing we can use try data structure we can use try so how we'll use that see here we have to add we have to search word right so we will make a try of all these words so whenever we have to add a word add a word bad we need to add b a d we'll add in try right then we have to add c a t cat so we will add c a t this will be added this is our 
like root node so this is a root node then we have to search now we have to search this c dot p so how we'll do that we need to search it so how we will do it see we will start like we have to search c dot p so first of all we'll check whether this c letter is there c is there c is there so then we will go ahead and we will check dot this is dot so this dot can be replaced with any so this will also go ahead we'll go ahead and we'll come here now we have to check for this p and this a has no root like no connection to p letter yes it, it has no if, if it has like this then our this will return true but here there is no connection from this a only t is there so this does not match so we return false does not match so in this way we find in a try then what we do uh, we have to add this desk so we will add it d e s k so this d see this d is what this d is a try node it's a try node and it has two things one is the letter whatever letter we are ha having and other is children's what will be the children so children will be a vector of size 26 because there, there could be 26 letters na? so since this d is connected with e here e which will be at uh, index 4 this e will be having address of this e node so we will get to know that okay this d has a connection to this e node right this is where we store try so here we have added this desk now we have to search this r how we will do this let's see we have r dot dot t now if you see this root this root has itself this root itself is a tri node na? so it will have a children vector 26 uh, 0 to 25 will be there now this root has at it has connection to b means 0 1 2 here a is here b is here so b will have address of this b this node it has connection to c so c will be here it has address of this node d has it has connection to d so d will be here but see now we have to find r but r this root node has no connection to r so simply here r whatever r wherever r is uh, r's like value stored index that index there will be null that will be null so means that there is no connection there is no starting there is no word which starts with r so from this only starting only will return false right then we have to search word c dot t let's see that so when we have c dot t what we do see now we are we are starting from root we will check whether there is a connection to c yes c has a something it's not null means there is a connection so what we will do we will our pointer will be here now pointer will come to this c so we have matched this now we'll come here dot so now see dot can be matched with anything right so we will go to whatever suppose this c has uh, two connections like b also is there like not maybe it has some uh, let's say g like this so this dot can be replaced with either a or g so we'll have to make two calls either two here and two here because there might be any case unless this dot can be replaced with any there could be t here also right here was also t here could also be. so we have to make both the both the calls so dot first of all we will go to here this can be dot can be replaced with a right anything then we have to check whether this a has connection to t it has hence we'll reach here and we will find out we have found our word similarly for here also we have to check so guys i hope you understood the second approach this is try approach very simple let's see the code for this right so see what we are doing over here we have created this try node <coughs> it has a child and it has a is end false this thing we are not stor storing the letter doesn't matter you can store or there's no need actually so then you are creating this root node which is your try node 
this root node is your tri node and then we have to add word so how we add word we take the word and we go letter by letter in that word for example we have to add bad bad we need to add so first of all we will pick b we'll pick b we'll find its position position means what will be its index that is if we do b minus a it will give us a sky is like a sky of b is 98 and a sky of a is 97 so this will be one index so at one this position so at this position in in the current nodes child at this position if it is null just make a new node add a new node that is over here at this b at index 1 at index 1 add, make a new node and add it so this is added and then we move to this node like we move to b this here so that we can add a so a will add in this b's children na, because b is connected to a so b's children b will also have a vector of size 26 so in b's here we will add a similarly this will go on like this that is a's position will be 97 minus 97 at zero index we will add address of this a node this a node will be added similarly for this so in this way we'll be adding and once a word is added it's last like at a at this a node uh, sorry at this d node we will make its is end true that is the word is ending here right now we need to search so how to search we have this root we'll make a function find word whatever word we have to find the starting index will be zero of that word and current is the current node a root node of the trial so um if the index like if index becomes equal to the word size right means we have found the entire word then we will check whether that is the end of if the it is the end of the word we found the word so return true and if see if the index has dot like if this index has dot for example here dot was coming na? dot was coming so we were here we were here at c so for this dot we will consider all the children's of c means we can either go to this children we can either go to this children and if there is some other children of c let's say h we can go to that also because this dot can be replaced by any of the children so that's why if dot is there go to all the children's and do the recursive call to next index means I, idx plus one means now search this t in the children's in these nodes children's so this recursive call will do and if it return uh, if it is true then return true if there is no dot then we have to check whether there is that letter in this child or not like for example here we were checking for cat uh, so for example we have uh, to check let's say this c dot t so first of all we will go to c then we will check there is dot so we can go to this a and then for this a we have to check for this t so if there is children of a if it has t or not it has t so we'll go to that if it has this is the index we are finding and if it has the children then we'll make the recursive call to the next index value and the, and after that we'll return false so this is your tie try approach I hope you understood the problem and the approach. Let me know in the comments if you have any doubt. Uh, if you found the video helpful, please like it, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.